next module. The first page that you're going to see is an overview of everything that you need to complete for the day. So there's a family letter if you want to open that up for your family. Um, and then it tells you the order of the assignments that you need to complete. So you're first going to complete the solve and share, then the try this problem. You're going to watch a visual learning bridge video. You're going to do a convince me problem and the practice. So you'll always press this next button to get started. So the first video that comes up is the solve and share for the lesson. So it's from your Envision workbook and the teacher is going to tell you what page it is on. And so right here will be a video that you'll press play and listen to the teacher read through the solve and share problem. It is also written down here in case the video does not load. And what you're going to do is you're going to press this reply button in order to answer the question that is right above it. Once you reply, you're going to post your reply, and then you'll see all of your other classmates' replies as well. After you finish that, you're going to go to the bottom and press Next. You are then going to find yourself at the try this problem. So if you go down, it's going to be another video from the teacher on the page before, and you're going to watch the video and she's going to read to you the try this problem. Again, it's also going to be written at the bottom. The next page that it comes to is the visual learning bridge. So this video will help with the try this problem and it also explains a lot about the lesson for the day. So you need to watch this video in order to get the chunk of the lesson. Then you're gonna go down and press next again. The next page that you're going to come to is the convince me question. Okay, so it, you press this take the quiz button. And there's just one question that you need to complete. So you read the question, you answer it, and then at the bottom, there will be a text box for you to write the answer, and then you press Submit Quiz. After you finish the Convince Me problem, you go to the bottom and you press Next. And now you've come to your practice for the day. So you're going to press take the quiz again. And over here on the side, you can see how many questions there are. And the question mark next to it says that shows me that I have not answered those six questions. Once I've answered a question, it will um, have a check mark next to it. So if you go down, here are all of your questions. So some of them are multiple choice, like these, and some of them are fill in the blank, like question four. Some of them you have to write um, in the text box. And once you finish all of the questions, you're gonna press submit quiz. After you submit it, you can go down and review the questions that you got wrong, and you can press Next.
This is a page that's going to look different depending on who your math teacher is. This is your workshop activities that you will need to complete. So depending on your teacher, these will look a little different. After you complete whatever your teacher's expectations are, you are going to press next. Once you reach this page, that means you have finished your math lesson for the day. So every single day, you need to complete all of the activities until you reach this math mission accomplished page. <laughs>